Hello and welcome back to the channel of Motorbike Nonsense and the Land of Two Wheeled Orgasms, by which I'm in Yamaha UK, because I've got the new for 2024 MT09 to test for a little while. We've got new looks. We've got a reshaped tank. That's metal. They've invented a new folding process to press that in a really fun way. Same 890cc triple of 117 horsepower, completely new riding position with this two-piece seat, lower handlebars, new switch gear, a new dashboard, and these are going to be my first impressions. Let's go. I've just handed back my MT10. I had a very naughty ride over on it, but this triple, man, it's hard to beat this triple noise, right? New indicators. They're this interesting design where you can either do a soft press and it will flash once or twice or three times, or you can hard press and it will uh, leave them on. But yeah, uh, immediately feeling the difference. I last rode an MT09 about four months ago when I did my review of the old MT09 SP and that was nice, but it was much more upright than this. This has more weight over the front end, lower handlebars, a more sporty seat. Uh, I, I like this a lot. Although I've already fumbled the indicator switch, but I'm sure I'll get used to that. I'm enjoying the new screen. The MT09 used to have a slightly dated looking kind of squarer uh, LCD display. It's got lovely, I say LCD, TFT. This is still color, still lovely, but it's got all new switch gear. So yeah, you now control the menus using this little nipple over here instead of the scroll wheel over here. That's a big improvement because on my MT10, I kind of want to use my left hand to use that because it's your throttle hand and you're trying to make throttle inputs while going through the menus. It's not a great user experience, whereas this, they put it on the right hand, well, the correct side, which is the left side. Are we confused yet? I am. Yeah, it's interesting that basically Yamaha said they've changed the riding position of this to feel more like the uh, the Street Triple, because that is a bit more lent over than the MT-09 was. And um, yeah, it, d it definitely does. It feels more like this has been derived from a sports bike, which obviously it hasn't. The suspension has been tweaked as well. It's uh, supposedly a little bit comfier, I think. It feels about the same to me. Oh my god, the flickability is still there! That's one of the things I always loved about the M209. It feels like you're pushing a paper plane out of the way with a tennis racket. It feels like, yeah, it is so stupidly agile. Coming from my MT10, that's not got the fastest steering in the world anyway, but this makes it feel like you're trying to turn an oil tanker by using a paper straw. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm doing 30 miles now and I'm already enjoying the new handling. Like The riding position is like, yeah, you want to get your elbows out, you want to lean over the front and uh, experience some naughtiness, which hopefully we will in some of the 60 limits on the way home. I've just noticed one other thing that's probably not even in the press release, and I think it's new, but you can use the cruise control in third gear. On my MT-10, you've got to be in fourth or higher, which means you can actually use this. Oh, hello, Orange GT3 Touring. Uh, on this, you can set it at 30 miles an hour in third gear, and it just poodles along. On my MT-10, I have to be in fourth, and uh, in 30 miles an hour in fourth gear, it chugs along a bit. So I think, I think that's changed. I can't remember what it was like on the old MT-09. Did it even have cruise control? Hmm. But yeah, I have to say, I've just done lots of boring round town riding like this, and it's so easy to ride. It is such an easy bike to ride. It's really nice. The clutch is light. The up and down quick shifter is improved. That feels nicer. I think it's got, I might be wrong, might have to cut this bit out. I think it's got the new quick shifter from the Trace 9 GT Plus, where you can shift up on a closed throttle and down on an open throttle, in addition to the normal way. So basically, you can always use the quick shifter. Um, I'm liking the switch gear. It's going to take me a while to get used to the indicator system. Um, yeah, it's not the most intuitive. It cancels after 150 meters, whatever you do. So if you can't work it out, you're not going to be giving the wrong signals. So um, yeah, otherwise the dash is nice, but still for me, the engine is the star of the show. I'm about 10 miles in with this new M209 and it's one of my favorite bikes of the year already. <laughs> it's taken all the best bits of the old bike, namely the engine, and put it in a riding position I love even more. I'm getting more front end feel from it. I'm loving the switch gear. I'm loving just the overall improvements, the changing seating position as well. So yeah, I, I've got room to move about on the seat. Couldn't really do that on the old one, I don't seem to remember. Just before we get to twisty roads, look at these. These are the acoustic resonator grills. I can't remember what they're actually called, but they basically direct the induction noise up at your head. Uh, so my MT-10 has them. And they do work. They don't really come across on camera normally, but when we get into the 60 limit up here, I'll stick my head on the tank and hopefully you can hear some of it. Ah! 
Bloody hell, this engine is so rampant! Oh my gosh, what, <laughs> what an engine. Bloody hell, this bike is fast. This is such a quick bike. You might look at it and think, oh, it's got 117 horsepower. And it's gonna be a bit lame. It's certainly in sport mode. It was picking the front up off crests there very easily. While sounding incredible, it's intoxicating. I, I adore it, I think. It's probably what I'm trying to say here. But anyway, let's try and get past some cars and talk about handling a bit more. Thank you. Lots of gravel and shit, but anyway. It does feel a lot more motardy, this riding position. Riding down here makes me feel like I'm on my old Hyper 950. Dragon, oh, fing else. So good, the turning is so quick. You might think, oh, you've got to really punch the bars to turn it in at speed. And uh, yeah, you don't. <laughs> it feels so light at the front end. It's just you want to be all over it like uh, a dog over a drop sausage. It's very nice. <laughs> the ride is fun. People will complain about that, but it's a sense of connection that I think you need on a bike like this. I don't think it feels too bad. Uh, it's a tractor. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, this video is going to be 10 minutes of me giggling. Jesus. Not many bikes make me ride like that down there, or give me the confidence to ride like that down there. My MT10 is too quick for this road when you're really stretching the uh, not throttle cable because it's right by wire. But yeah, this is a uh, lovely amount of power. It's got so much more mid. It's got so much more mid range than I remember as well. This engine. It's always been very, um, very broad chested in terms of how it accelerates through the middle of the rev range but now it's like it is crazy fast <laughs> right quick summary of my thoughts on the new mt09 <laughs> how is this legal how is it legal it's got the most sublime uh turning it's I don't know. You kind of want to flick it really quickly, then gas it really hard, and the front goes light. That's exciting in my book. This is one of the most exciting motorbikes bikes I've ridden in a very, very long time. It feels light. It feels nimble. It's just got so much naughtiness about it. I adore it. But anyway, this is not my full review. My full considered less giggly review will be coming in a couple of weeks once I've lived with it for a bit. Um, yeah. What machine? Uh, slight quibbles at the moment. Oh, the indicators take a while to get used to that, but I think I'm there. And the seat is a little bit firm, and the ride is a bit firm, so my bum hurts a little bit. But that's all been outweighed by the giggles that I've been having. Oh, a laugh machine, this. Yamaha, you bloody done it again, and I'm going to get accused of shilling for you of making ridiculously fun bikes. Uh, if you're looking at buying a street triple, don't would be my advice right now don't go to your Yamaha dealer and give them some money but anyway I've been Tim this has been the new 2024 MT09 and uh, thank you so much for watching I do really appreciate it if you've made it this far uh, like this video go down to the comments and leave me the Japanese phrase for twitchy bum light wrists and I'll see you soon goodbye <laughs>